Inno Setup is really great for creating that professional looking installer for your program. So you've made your executable, you've written all your code, you're ready to distribute this thing, get Inno Setup and create a really good installer for your program. So just Google Inno Setup and it'll take you to Jordan Russell's site here. So I'm gonna hit the download link. So I prefer to run the Quick Start Pack, which installs also the Inno Script Studio Editor, uh, which is a pretty great tool too. So here's Inno Script Studio. So I'm just gonna say blank script for now. And I've got one ready to go. So let's just look at a very simple script that I, I built. So I'm just gonna go to Project, Setup Options, Go to my application details, and you can see I've filled in my application name and a version number and some, a bit of copyright stuff. So I go down through all these options and uh, see what's there. So, first, though, I like to just do setup options, application details, fill out that page, and then I'm going to get out of here to files, and I can just drag and drop the files that my program uses here. So, let's say, for example, I want to add this example thing to run. I can just Okay, so I've added my icons my ex and the executables. So in this case, I have two executables that my application needs. Okay, now this MCR installer, that's a MATLAB executable. It's the MATLAB runtime. So I actually need that to run during uh, installation. So I have it under install run too. So I just said new item, chose this guy here. All right, if there's any parameters that need to go, command line stuff, you can put those in, hit OK. And you get this um, working directory. Let's just choose app. So it'll be expanded to the directory that my program is installed to and then run. I'll delete it. So I have two programs here that are run. Okay, under files, I've got uh, all this stuff. Directories, I have blank. It's not, I don't need to create any additional directories. Under icons, here's where I set up where I want my program icons. So I have one under common desktop, for example. And so it's going to run this executable, creates a shortcut to that executable, puts it on the desktop. Uh, there's where the executable is. And here I can choose my icon file, right? In this case, that's my icon. All right. I also have one under common programs, which is in the start menu. Under my programs, they have those common programs, so there's going to be an icon for my application there as well. All right, and I think that's pretty much it. Now I just go through the other settings here in Setup. Um, application folder is going to be program files, and then this is my folder name. I can, <coughs> I can go to language settings. I think that's up soft line. And that's pretty much it. I don't think I have a lot of uh, other special options in, in my case. So I hit OK here. I just hit Compile here. And that's it. My program should be uh, compiling. You see I'm going to get this uh, setup.exe when I'm all done.